Hello and welcome back to another fine evening of Rust where we do AI bot programming and random other things. We're going to be doing more hyper, oh, I keep forgetting the name, hypersonic today, which is a Bomberman clone. But first, let's get into our regular Clash of Code, which is a very short competition. Hey Sinclair, welcome back. So we're doing Rust programming and these clashes here, they're not necessarily ideal for Lush. They're not really showing off a lot of things. You just gotta do stuff quickly or in a short amount of code or reverse engineer. Um, we're just starting to show this way. I don't know, they sometimes get me in the mood for it to switch from whatever I was doing before, erase whatever language I was working on, get into the Rust mindset. And the more people we have, the better we tend to do. And yesterday we had one we thought we did well, only got 75% completion though, but so did the guy who came first, so we were cheated by an unfair test. All right, let me open up another tab. That's where our tools are, is if you're starting to show for the first time, we I have the collection tools here, which hasn't changed in a while, saying what type of stuff we use. And I should really update that sometime. Actually, let me go update that now, because I actually use it. Source less evening rust. Update README. Let's push that one off. Because I keep looking at it online and I want to know. And I put, just put a few command lines at the bottom that we use often. Just here, the diffing tools and the Rust tools. Oh well, man, there's not enough people joining us. All right, so we're going to have a few. And so we just warm up here. These take up to 15 minutes. Unless it's a code golf one, we're usually done in five to 10 minutes. Depends how fast it goes. And then we'll get back to our regular AI bot program, and we got slightly higher in the Silver League, but not too impressive. And today we have to figure out how to break out of that Silver League and get into gold. Another minute, maybe. Um, if this goes well, if we get to gold, then I might be motivated to do the competition tomorrow. If it doesn't get to gold, then I won't be motivated. Or you can cheer for me. The more cheers I get, the more likely I'll be to do the competition as well. And... Otherwise, I'll be doing mainly, I would want to do a leaf stream tomorrow. The timing's a bit weird if I do this and the competition. So maybe I'll do leaf and then later the competition or just leaf or just so many options. Just let me know and cheer for which one you want. I'm working on a weird bug in LLVM right now. It's not LLVM's bug, it's my bug. I'm trying to implement the CAVI on Linux and it's a real pain in the ass, man. I'll write an article about it later, but it's a real pain. ABIs are not fun. Especially since I thought LLVM was taking care of it, but it's not. Just very unfortunate. Uh, looks like we're going to be stuck with just four people. Not the most exciting, exciting thing. Um, that gives us a chance. Wow. Oh, I can't. A bit rough. Oh, we just got to do it quickly. Number of eggs that Bob missed a uh, Bob was a farmer who lives in Augsburg, a small village of 100 inhabitants. He owns seven chickens, four cows, and five pigs. Each chicken lays six eggs per week. He has N eggs, and Alice wants to buy most M eggs. Display how many eggs Bob can sell to Alice. The number of eggs that Bob possesses, the number of eggs that Alice can buy. Uh, I don't get it. What's all this other misinformation? Is this really just a matter of... M dot min M minus N or something? No, is it? Uh, the number available to Ellis Ellis can buy minus n. Oh, well, no, it's just m dot max n or something. Sorry, min. I'm being an idiot. <laughs> That's. I could have done that faster, but I was just. So much misinformation in that code. It's just like, very misleading. And share and then see this is a problem we have so few people some of these guys are just they, they read this stuff super fast and they're really great I mean like yeah just min it was just min it just he just got that quicker than me I just got sidetracked with the fact that I was looking for more information the pigs and the dogs and this weird per week stuff is that 
Yeah, I don't know. It was kind of fun. Difficulty was, uh... I don't know. I'm not going to say it. Statement. I don't know what this thing was testing. It's really hard to say whether the statement's any good or not because it's testing my ability to read and filter through information, but I don't know if that's really what we want in these competitions or what it is. For speed, I suppose it's okay, but I'm just going to leave it at that. And let's do that. And this guy, who knows, he may just be away from his computer. Let's go over to the game now and see where we are. We're in bot programming our 29th. Wonderful. Twenty ninth or thirtieth now, I guess that changed my time restraint. Isn't a great position to be. It's not bad. The reason it's not a great position is because because it means we can't just tweak something. We might have to fundamentally change something. And I'm gonna go spam these guys over here. Live with hypersonic. Um, Sinclair, my schedule has been a bit chaotic lately, unfortunately. I'm going to try to get back to the normal schedule. The normal schedule is going to try to be Thursday evening, maybe Saturdays, but I'm not clear. I'm really trying to get back to a normal schedule, and you know, I'll try to get back to it. Weaving Russell is going to be between either 10 and 11 starting on Thursdays and Sundays. Some Sundays I'll miss. Um, I'm probably not going to do Fridays because I see there's not a lot of viewers on Fridays. And then Saturdays when I can, but I'll skip every second one. And during the week, I'll probably be doing Leaf, but I'll update the schedule for that. And that'll probably be Mondays and Wednesdays. But next week's going to be chaotic because I'm flying for business away. So I'll try to keep to my schedule in my future and I'll try to keep it updated once I find the one because I've been a little bit lax lately. And I'll have to adjust things and... I might do one in the day to see how it works. So one of these shows during the day and one in the evening and just see which one is viewers because then I can actually keep up with it because sometimes doing it all in the evening, I get tired. I'm already tired tonight. So. All right, but thanks for asking and I'll try to stick to it a bit more. I've been really, really weird lately on that. Okay. So if we look at the reasons why I've been losing there's been several reasons. A few cases I die, but these ones where I'm second are probably more interesting because if we want enough of those, and evening rust, I well I also died. Let's find out why. Let's find out why I die in this one. But I'm not sure fixing the dying thing is fairly difficult because I'm not clear on how to do it. But simply improving our score on those other ones, we might be okay, and that could also fix the dying at the same time. Oh man, it didn't copy him correctly again. I don't like when it does this. I don't like when you copy the parameters to, to the IDE and it has a different result. Because then I can't see where why I died. Play it again, maybe we'll get a death. This time I won. So yeah, it's like really kind of annoying. Did it really screw up? Come on, show me the one where I died. I want one where I actually died. That's like usually a second place one, like here or something. Did not die. Just didn't get enough points in this one. So this is one, let's just work from this one instead. I think I know a way I can get more points. The biggest thing is that when I place my bomb, I just stand around. And the reason for that is because I'm trying to go to the best position on the board, but I'm not considering the bomb I just placed. Let's switch this back to manual mode. And, well, this time I disintegrated. There's a lot of randomness in this game. I don't have any randomness. I don't know if the other players do. Let's figure out why I die here. Oh, I'm sitting there again. I'm sitting in place because I'm not recognizing that I'm in a, I'm not in a safe place. And I let him place the bomb there, and so I really have to just move away. So, the idea I have to improve my score might actually help me save my life a bit more because it'll walk away further, 
And I still only ever place one bomb though. So let's go figure that one out. Um, why is this still open? Go away. I forgot to open my editor, Visual Code. And so then come down to the strategy, good place is none, good place to bomb. All right, so what do we do is that we don't bomb a second time, and where do we set good place to bomb? Good place. And actually, do we ever reset this? Apply turn. Oh yeah, if we're ever at the good place, we find it, we get rid of it. Um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna update the good place to bomb. Where did I find it? Good place. Good place to bomb. Good descriptive function names. Good place to bomb. I'm trying to get more descriptive function names because I know going back to my old code, they have some really confusing things in AI. Boxes within range. So now this box is within range, it's going to be a little bit tricky. This is what I actually want to change. I actually want to figure out boxes that... are not going to be blown up by a bomb. So I have to like taint all the boxes and... I'm trying to think of how I do that. We have a lot of code that goes through bombs already. And what I mean by taint the boxes, because this one calculates the boxes within range, but if there's already a bomb that's going to destroy them, I shouldn't count them, because I won't get them. And I deprecate it as well, wonderful. Even though I call it. And we just find the closest position that's closest to us. And this is also terrible because we're using Manhattan distance. We're not actually trying, not even trying to find that place. We're trying to find the closest one and not trying to get there. Um, so this this function is like totally misguided now. <laughs> uh, okay, so then let's just do... how we can do that. How do I get rid of the bombs that are currently there? If I clear the map, I mark them as tainted, and there's also this too good bomb one, which gives me a point. Good place to bomb. Well, that's really weird, though. I don't know if I use that anymore. Two good bomb. I really don't think I use that anymore. How do I do a search here? Two good bomb. Just the one place. I'm just gonna get rid of this because we don't use this and we know the logic's wrong. So we have this bomb here, we're going to take the map, we have all the boxes on the grid. I think we have the boxes on the grid. Cell type is a box. What we're going to do is we're going to put a second box type, we're going to put a tainted box, I think. And then I want to find out... Man, I gotta write more generic functions again. I, what I want to do is I want to create a map that taints all the boxes that have bombs on them already, and then just not consider them in the strategy of where the boxes are. Well, I suppose I could just move them though. Yeah, I could just move, remove them from here. That's correct. Oh, except I calculate the boxes here. Shit. Hmm. All 
All right, so I'm going to do this a totally different way. How can I do this a different way? Okay, we're going to create a map. We're going to create the map first of all, the state, create a grid. I have a function that creates a grid here somewhere. Well, we create a bomb map, which is fine, and that creates the distance for all the bombs. Yeah, we can do that. Let's create the bomb map, and then just erase the... Yeah, we'll create a bomb map, and then erase the... Erase the, what I was going to say, erase the bombs from it and erase the, the boxes from it. And I'm trying to think of how. Well, we don't have to erase them, we can simply just not consider them. Alright, so let's do that. That's a bit weird. So, good place to bomb. Um, I should have gone that down there so we can see that as well. I'm going to create a bomb map. Create bomb map. I don't want to go this way here. Right, bomb map equal create bomb map. State. And this one actually checks every place on the board. I'm going to change the boxes within range. What else do we call boxes within range? We don't. So we can undeprecate this. We're just going to fix it. We have the bomb map, and now what we want to do is create a grid, a copy of the actual game map, and remove stuff from it. Let map game map equal state dot grid dot dupe clone. Sorry, clone that. And then what we can check then is we can see we want to remove all the bombs from that. This is kind of a wasteful check. Uh, it's a little bit slow, but let's just go with it anyways. And these should be the same size. And so we can use the linear function here. Do a linear function and say, we don't have the linear length though. Linear len, linear len. So what we simply do is we so for i in zero dot dot game map dot linear len if bomb map dot linear get i and we set the bomb map as kind of something funny oh I lost my place it's set to infinity if there's nothing there, but we can simply say it's less than eight because we know that's the timeout for the bombs and this should really be a constant, but um, whatever, bomb range, let's do bomb timeout. We don't actually have a bomb range anymore. We know it's eight steps. So for eight. If it's less than bomb timeout, this box goes away. Game map dot linear set. I cell type empty. There's nothing there then. All right, so then we're going to go through the whole state again, figure out where we are. Um, and we're going to do, do x, y. We could have actually done it a different way. And we're going to find the one that's closest. And this is actually really bad. There should be more of an A star. But we need to be fast here. And an A so. And don't worry about it. This boxes within range is now what we can change. Boxes within range, we need to stay, we're going to give it the game map instead. We need a reference to the game map. So it no longer has this. It's going to have the map. And this is a reference to a matrix of cell type. I think there might be an error there. We're not counting bombs correctly, but that's okay. And we're no longer going to go through the iter here. We're just going to take this position and walk in the three different ranges. 
which is a lot simpler than for and offset in offsets. Okay, and what do we have? We have, we need to know the bomb range as well. Box within range. Range is I32. We're gonna have to pass it in later. And I don't know which way is better to do the loop for I in zero dot dot range. Now we can probably start at one though. But then we might have to go to range plus one. Because we don't need to check where we are, because if we place a bomb, there can't be possibly a box there. Let NP equal two plus I times offset. And what's the cell point there? That's the map. Let's just call it grid again. So it's clean the same thing, grid. And it's a wall. If it's off the line, that's fine. 10 NP. I'm going to say if grid cell equals cell type box count plus equals one. And if it's not empty, we break. Perfect. That gets rid of everything else because it can't destroy anything else, and we just return the count. So that's much simplified, and I think it's actually better. And I think it's this range here, though. We have to do range plus one. I, uh, we shouldn't even need this anymore. Bomb range should be gone. Yeah. But I think that's okay because it expresses range from the middle, not from the sides, and we should be okay. So boxes within range. Boxes within range, and we have to have our player, and this is going to be state dot. We don't have a player. How do we get the player again? Find the player. Uh, what was the parameter one and two? I need to get that out too. Yes, yeah, so we're running three and f three to four. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to just check the parameters again. So parameters differ depending on the type, and I just been adding. I forgot to add for players number of bombs they can still place. Player two, the current explosion range of the bombs, and I'm just going to add that to the state. We have these functions. Pub function. Player bombs and self i32, and this is just self dot param one. Player range and self is an I32, self dot param two. There we go. Just so I can use that, player bombs and player range. So I can do self dot players and entities, so player range. If there are no boxes, we don't have to worry about them. Then we just count them. Um, and we score it based on the distance. It's a little bit weird, but that's okay. And let's see if this is going to work. Clear and. Let's play it again. Well, it doesn't make us any better. Let's just make sure it does something reasonable. And we're at least walking to other locations now, except we blow up somewhere. Well, that was bad. 
Now, the one thing that bomb doesn't consider is it doesn't consider whether I can actually walk to those positions or not. So we can do a second one. We can do a map there. And we can actually do the A star flooding of it to figure out how far we should go. And that'll at least prevent me from walking to something I can't get to. Good place to bomb. Let's go to the bottom here. We have distance two. No, I want this. I want walk distance to everywhere. I want the walking distance to everywhere. This is totally screwed up. So I want the walking distance to everywhere. So again, a little bit expensive. Walk distance equals walk distance to the state. We'll take the state as it is. Not with the things filtered out. We just want to know as it is now so we can start walking some more distance. And then we really don't have the walking distance here now. Um, what do we initialize when there's something wrong? Maximum. There's a maximum walking distance. Max. That'll be fine. So what we have is we really just have walk distance dot get position. How long does it take us to walk to that position? All right, that might make a slight difference. If we can't walk somewhere, it just won't consider it anymore. So we shouldn't, it should help us move a little bit. Sometimes the length of the thing there could help determine whether or oh, we won first. Well, it looks a lot better now. That might be worthwhile submitting to see how we do. And like we totally dominate in points this time, which should let us win a lot more games. We have a massive point lead here, which is good. Now we just got to stay out of their way. But we place another bomb. And they look like they're stuck, like they don't search far enough. All right, so let's submit that and let's see how we do. Whether we do better or worse with this. And this is just the previous ranking. We'll drop based on the first few matches there, whether we win or lose. And I didn't check, I didn't change our safety thing, so we should die just the same amount of times, except that we walk away further. It might help the dying slightly more. But this should get us the games where we've been losing for points. And that's when we looked last time, about half of the ones we lost were because of points. We just didn't have enough points. And this should definitely help us get more points now. And we'll see how we progress this thing up here based on the next set of battles. We have a lot to do. And so you can already see I'm waiting in the right positions. Like when he placed the bomb, he walks immediately to another position. And what happens here is because it, re it doesn't actually reevaluate every time, but um, he walks quite far and that's okay. That's what we want sometimes because he has time to do it. But the actual placing of the bomb, he decides per turn. Oh, he had one drop in rank there, but okay. One dip is okay. Well, that's a weird layout right there. I think he made a mistake on this one at the start. But second place is okay. I'm not concerned about second place. Let's check if we win against the uh, 
against the boss guy. Let's see if we can win against Boss Burban, because that'll be important for actually getting out of this league. We don't, which is bad. We don't die, though. We just probably don't have enough points. Yeah. Well, we can start checking the other bombing things. We can start placing more bombs and see if that helps us out here. Let's see if we ever get wins against him, because we can never win against him. It's really hard to get out of the league, because you're going to be matched up against him quite a few times. And he's clearly placing multiple bombs, and we're clearly not doing that. And we're just going to pick up items at random. It's just sometimes we're not going to try to get them. They're just going to be there. We're just going to walk through them and pick them up. Right, like there we just had one there. I think that increases the number of range, or... Yeah, that's the number of bombs, so... We already have two bombs. We should be able to get another one. We should be placing more bombs to do this quicker. But we might end up killing ourselves as well. It looks like we might have actually reduced our score by doing this. Well, let's fix one thing first. This is just a Leaf compiler in the back end, if you're wondering. This was the stuff I was working on on Leaf, trying to figure out the ABI issue. You see this font is smaller. I don't actually code this big, uh, but I'm getting used to this size. I want to go back, but you can't see as much on the screen. So where we have it, my best turn. And so here we're going to do something this. We're going to say if bomb and player dot player bombs equals zero, we can't bomb, then don't consider bombing. Otherwise, we can consider bombing. And so now we can place multiple bombs if we have them. That's a simple change, and we don't know if that'll help, hinder, or what that'll do to us. But we've actually dropped in the rank. So whatever we did may be getting us killed more often. Oh, but this lets us win against the boss man, which is really helpful. Yeah, we just place bombs all over the place now. That's really cool. Doesn't help us any though. I was really weird. He did some really weird moves. I just submit it anyways. <laughs> and I wish I didn't delete the old move to find the best bomb. But no, no, the best move bomb thing is definitely that's definitely improved. Just something else we're getting dying dying from. Well, we jumped up quickly there. That might have just been a lucky few matches, though. Like, in our new change, it doesn't doesn't help us any unless we actually get more bombs. So we're still stuck at one bomb here. And we should be doing a lot better against this guy, but we just never pick up another bomb. We just ignore items. Which is okay, I mean. I was just led to believe we shouldn't have to do too much more than this to get out of this league.
we picked up one new bomb, so that's okay. Our safety mechanism still isn't the best. We actually kill him. We got lucky. Cool. Now, we're going to have to figure out why we're losing. And we're still going up, though. Let's let it go for a while and see if we go up, how much we go up, how fast we go up, to see whether I really have to change something or not. We'll let it see the next increment, what the next increment comes out to. And if we go down, then we'll have to change something. If we go up, we might want to leave it. It placed a bomb in a really stupid place there. Oh, we went up again, though, so this one might actually be worthwhile just waiting on this now. Why did we place a bomb there? Oh, we jumped up a lot. I think I have a range wrong. I think I have a range wrong somewhere. We're going to have to go test that because he's placed bombs in a few places that didn't make any sense. But we're up at number six, which is actually a pretty good gain from yesterday. And up at number three, okay, so that made a huge difference collecting bombs, plus the other combination there. And we're going up. We have very few battles reported. I think we might be okay, because we did win against Boss Bar Boss Burman once. What a weird name, Boss Burman. And... Let's see what... Don't say we're going down. We're going up. Just let me go up. Because we've got a significant lead over number four here, so I don't think we'll drop a rank. But we do need to get some winning ones, and I shouldn't be playing against him. Um... So we went up again, but I must have lost against him. There's nobody else is submitting. I'm the only guy submitting, and it looks good that we're mainly winning. There's a few we lose against, though. Is there anybody else with the rust on this table that we don't know? Not just us. We're all alone. We're all alone. We're all alone and nobody's chatting with me also. <laughs> um, yeah, I really need to keep the schedule with my show because I think a lot of, I'm missing out on a lot of chatters. It just, uh, I, I'm going to be, hopefully I can do more in the future. Shorter shows more often would be better, I think. Though I'm not sure. Did I drop down? Did I play somebody wrong? <gasps> Bad. Alright, so... Let's let that play. Let's figure out why we're losing, just in case we have to go up. But I think we might be able to get up based on just this alone. How have we lost? Probably because we died. Well, this one I'm assuming we died. Show. How did we die? Evening Rush. Let's check that one out. So we really don't have to Im include, improve the escape thing once. And we saw yesterday one of the reasons why we're dying, we know why we're dying, is because we, we sometimes sit idle when we don't know how to move. And I had a quick fix for that too, but I haven't done it yet. But we might be getting trapped as well. Right, like right there I waited, and that's actually really hard to fix right now without doing like a, a stronger move, without considering the other players. There might be very little I can do to that unless I consider the other players. If I play them all again, what's the chance I can win against them without just getting trapped? So I made it up to position two, so we might still just be fine. And we actually lose against these. Again. There's some combination here. One of these guys, I'm doing something wrong, but this is the same board. Auto, that's the problem. Let's play a different game. Let's see if I beat them. Oh no, I dropped three again. Terrible. Man, I might need to do tweak something.
Now we lose again. Maybe I just don't like that corner. Oh. Well, this is weird. <laughs> I know what this is, too, I think. I'm fairly certain what this is, is that we found the best place to bomb is where we are, but then we've immediately said, well, this is not a good place to bomb, we die. But then we don't have, like, a backup question. <laughs> Um, and then it's just too late. We just don't have enough. Which is pretty sad, but that's... <laughs> That's because our depth isn't going very far. We aren't checking very deep in the thing, and we're only bombing on the first move. We only consider bombing on the very first move, which is kind of bad, but... So we can get higher here. The question is, what are we doing wrong? We're getting... Now you see, since we're the only ones submitting right now, and there's not a lot of action going on, we're the only ones submitting, right? You can actually see this uh, computing. It's only us. Anytime somebody goes up, it's because we're pushing them up. Anytime they go down, it's because we're pushing them down. And so we're kind of mixed here. We need to just get that slight little additional edge, because if it's already kind of mixed, getting that slight little edge will push the score up just high enough. And... Huh. But how can we do that easily? What can I do? What's the simplest strategy I can do to actually fix this? Because looking at the losing ones is not going to be extremely helpful. What if I just play Bosperman and Jif Jif Jif? Let's delete him and let's put Jif Jif. Delete this guy and let's play one of these. If we can win this combination, we should be fine. We do win sometimes. Wonderful. We're not always those. So how do we lose this time? Let's find out. I think it's it's lost track of where we are. It's like a game behind. confused the game got confused on us rank three there well this time we win But the game is confused, so I'm going to have to reload this page because it's terribly confused. It's broken. Uh-oh. Well, that's bad. Let's close it entirely then. Reloading was probably not good. Back to number two. There's a good chance if we sat long enough, we'd get there. But let's play with the top four. Bosperman, Jijif, and Minonora. Who do we lose against? Jijif. And Minonora seems to be a problem. And we are going up. And the value does keep going up. We'd probably make it to gold without touching anything. 
just by getting some lucky games. Let's add Minoros here as well. I think he's more of a problem than Jeff. And this is the one of the ones where we get paralyzed with indecision. And I got to figure out why this happens. Why are we getting paralyzed with indecision? And is it just because we don't search down far enough? Either best turn. We got a timeout if we went to three, which is the biggest problem why I didn't go to three. We can't, and that's the biggest. That's the biggest thing we'll have to change for gold. We have to be able to iterate deeply. And I'm guessing we just time out here. This is the best guess. Is that time out? Yeah, we can't go to three because we're doing too slow. And how can we make it faster? So the bomb enter. If we likely die, well, let's take out the likely die check on the iteration, and that's because that's a very expensive move. This is a very expensive check, and we're just take it off of the iterations and only check it on the top move. Only on the top move will we not consider something if we're going to die, and the other moves we'll just let it go. Now we still time out because there's too many decisions to look at. Damn it. As the game board opens up, we have too many options. Up until then, we do OK. Rumble, grumble, grumble. So depth is not going to be an easy fix for us. We're going to have to do a lot of fundamental changes if we want the fix to help with depth. I'd love to get it to three, but <laughs> yeah, we know we have to fix this a bit. We we this is really awful. It's the the duplication and apply turn and step state are what's making it really, really expensive. But there's not a lot I can do with that. We try applying a bomb. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need to do much. If we put two, let's just include this bomb code for a second. Let's see if that gives us enough. We'll try both of them. And we'll have the same logic as in step turn and player player bombs equals zero. I mean we could we can remove this check and get a little bit of a speed up. And it actually might be enough of a speed up because this is a linear loop over all the items in the game, so we should probably pass that along and see what happens. And our apply turn, though, we're going to have to change something here in the simulator. Apply turn. If turn.bomb, then we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to do state.entities player index.param1 minus equals 1 because there's one less bomb and we keep, we, it's in turn, we, we have that now. That's a good fix, anyways. Let's see how we do now. Uh, did we just die right away?
Time out. So we timed out. Come on. <laughs> so we really don't have much time at all. So we're like we're like cutting the edge a lot. What we can do, which I think Petrosil said, and that was one of them in the strategy. Let's get rid of the strategy tests. And get rid of the matrix, get rid of the point for now. If we look at turn offsets. There's a zero here as well. We can do this. We can simply say if offset.x equals zero, not equals zero, and offset.y is not equal zero, and bomb. And this means only check it on the one offset. We only check for bombing in the one position. This cuts down the number of options. Maybe enough that we don't actually time out. We get the second. That's better. <laughs> Oh, and then we we like well, kill him actually. That's what I thought was us. And how do we die now though? Timeout! Damn it! We're so close that we can't do anything. Our timeouts are too long. All right, so let's do inner best turn. Let's give it another option. Inner best turn, we're going to just provide us something more and see if it helps. Player is going to be an entity. Inner best turn is going to take a and player. I think it's already an entity. It's already a pointer. Yeah. So inner best turn has to take a player again. I don't know how much that will actually help. Could be enough. I mean, it's. All right, it's a reference to the player. What? Two seven seven. Oh, I forgot to remove this bit. That would be important too. Otherwise, we don't get the speed improvements. Does that help us out a bit? Come on. No, we still time out, so that didn't help. Diddly squat. Wow, what do we do then? Because as we get more bombs, it's going to become slower as well. We do this is valid move all the time. How can I speed this up other than taking the state here? It's these things here, the costly bits. That right there. Of course, obviously the iteration, but and get score maybe. Let's get score do. Finds the player. Well, we might as well give it the player. I don't think it's gonna help that much. Oh, and we go through and we count all this crap within within range. That's got to be expensive. What we could do here
Well, I don't know. Let's just get rid of this. This closer to the place we keep. Let's just. What happens if I remove this part of the scoring? Do we just not drop a bomb? We might never drop a bomb. But that's a really expensive part, so. We probably never drop a bomb now. Yeah. Um, so that's not helpful. We want to drop a bomb. Bombs are worse stuff. Maybe we should only place bombs in places we think are good for now. Instead of just randomly placing bombs, we just place them where we think it's good or shit, I don't know. We didn't die though, did we? Or well, we still timed out, so it didn't help any. Shit, that's bad. What can I do? I just need that tiny little blip, that tiny little push. I don't think I can add another mob evaluation. That's the biggest thing. Iter best turn. I really don't think we can just do this iteration. I don't think we have a choice. We just got to get rid of it. Wait, we lost the option. Where'd that go? It's a bit weird. Stuck at three. Come on. <laughs> so I don't want to redo a whole thing of it. Oh, what do I do this time? I time out almost immediately. Delightful. You know, I probably really should have done a get save before I started milking with this because we had the three and I'm not clear which one it is now. Time out. Is it really? We had a one here before though, didn't we? Or two? Did we really only have a one before? One works better. 
But basically we have no depth then. We have no depth whatsoever when we search that way. And it's the reason why we get stuck in the corner sometime. Um, Huh, I don't think we're going up. I think we're done submitting. Let's try submitting again and see what happens. What else can we do? We can look at very carefully at the ones where we die and maybe just put a quick fix in there and say, look, just don't get stuck in the corner. This one, for example, what do we do wrong? figure out what we do wrong. So we're blue. We're blue, we place a bomb, we place a bomb. Yeah, we we there's there's we couldn't have seen that coming. Right? We place a bomb and walk this way and without considering the other players, there's no way we possibly know that that was a dangerous place to be. So that's a that's a just a legitimate that's just a blip. Let's grab another one. Tie for first. What happened here? All right, we have to fix this one. We have to fix the one where we're just stuck in the corner. And the reason we're stuck in the corner I wonder if I get rid of all this printing if we're fast enough, because printing could be expensive. No, but it's only once per turn. The reason we're stuck in a corner is because we can't figure out the best place to place a box has been decided is right in the corner. Hey, look, this is the best place to put a bomb, but we can never place a bomb there because it's no good. And without a search depth of twice, without putting bombs on the second search depth, we just don't know where we're going to place a bomb. But maybe if we just place one bomb, we put the search depth down to one. Maybe we can actually try chasing a bomb now. But our rank isn't going up this time, so something went wrong. We better do a compare. Like I say, I should have I committed the one that was actually at rank 3, first of all. Nope, we don't put it there. <laughs> I get stupidly stuck there. Uh, let me check the history, and I'm just going to check to make sure we're submitting decent code. going to put these in a different place for now. Well, so much for copy-paste. B.R.S. Let's go back to there and do a diff 
for a meld temp a plus temp dash b. We reduce the number of bombs. That should be a safe change. That doesn't change anything if we don't place a second bomb. Okay, that player should be fine. We got rid of a comment. That's not a big issue. This is a get my bus turn. <gasps> Oh, I added this to the wrong place. Ah, oh, shit. That was stupid. That's not supposed to be there. No, that's supposed to be there. It's not supposed to be on get my best turn. Maybe it was. But that's one place it changes. And this difference is we pass down player. And we had a depth of two before. So we definitely had a depth of two. So it was working with a two. No actual change there. Um, We commented out if likely die, that's fine. We tried to make it faster, we got rid of the fine player, that's fine. These are commented out in both cases, so that's fine. We just pass the player down and that should be basically the same code. Where are we? Not high enough. So we go to a depth of two. And let's do the exact same thing actually if uh, offset to y does not equal zero. Two is definitely necessary. It can't just be a one, it has to be a two. Timeout. Why are we getting timeouts now, though? In theory, we should be faster now. Let's go back to say in temp, blue slash temp slash b dot rs slash temp slash good dot rs. That was the good one. And let's do a meld on single file slash temp slash good. What is the difference? We subtract the bomb, that's fine. We don't look for the player again, that's not going to cost us anything. We remove some comment, that's not an issue. Get my best turn considers a bomb in every situation, but by doing this we should reduce it. We should have less timeouts. Two, two, good place and player. The good one says if likely die. Oh, this could be filtering out a lot of moves. Yeah, that could actually be filtering out moves. That could be pruning the tree, and that's why it could be working more. And that's pretty much the only difference. Except we also consider bombs there. So let's put that back in. And we could probably improve the speed of that.
Come on, keep calculating. We tie. It's one of those ones where we get stuck. Um, shit, I want to prevent that. Let's just submit this and see what happens. Make sure this is the right code. Do we get stuck? We probably get stuck off and off because that's a common map. And wow, wow, whoa, 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 whoa. The hell is this? Lose, 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 lose. That's not okay. Timeout, timeout. No, we can't be having timeouts. What's causing the timeout? What is different? The extra bombs, aren't they? We're still considering extra bombs. Yeah, we absolutely cannot consider an extra bomb. We just don't have the time to do that. Shit. So iter best turn, we just can't consider the bombs. We just just go away bombs. We're only allowed to place a bomb in the first move. And that was the fear that that gets us stuck in the corner. That's the one that makes us stuck in the corner. So we're gonna stuck. This will we'll stay stuck in the corner. And because we're only searching to a depth of two, and we can't consider things. It's really not our searching isn't really helping. It's really just basing it on heuristics. I'm going to resubmit this thing though. And that will be the difference there. And that makes obviously a huge difference if you time out, because timing out. But we still have a bunch of losses here. What the hell? What's going wrong here? Did I mark the wrong good one? I really wish it showed the ranks here. I'm pretty sure that was the good one. What is the difference now? The stage here shouldn't make a big deal. That should be fine. That won't cause us a timeout. We pass the player. That's absolutely it. That should speed us up. There's no way it can possibly slow us down by passing the player. I mean, there is, but I'm going to exclude that possibility. Can't passionately imagine it doing that. Get my best turn. Yeah, it, it considers less possibilities, which is really weird. It considers less possibilities and it gets a timeout. We do not. No, there's no way this is slower. There's no way we're getting timeouts in this one and not in the other one. What the hell is going on? Am I really just getting some bad luckiness, unlucky here? Is their server somehow overloaded that I'm suddenly getting timeouts the whole time now? Could that be an issue? Like, look at all these losses. That's not okay. Timeout. Timeout. I 
died. I'm okay with dying. I'm just not okay with timing out. What the hell is going on? Damn it, I wish I had committed at three. I don't trust their history thing. I really don't trust their history. There's something weird here. There's. Oh, yeah, no, this is the problem with their history, too. Is it rewrites the history? This is an absolute awful part of their interface. They should really fix this. If I submit the same code or whatever, why is this? It's losing history. There was more history here. And now it's gone. And this is pissing me off. Like, we had all wins initially. Let's give this one a chance. I'm going to copy. Let me copy this stuff. Temp slash good two to RS maybe. One of these has to have been the winning ones. That makes no difference. If we're getting timeouts, this can't possibly help us. If likely die, if likely die, find player. Unless somehow this passing the player slows it down, but that seems utterly ridiculous that passing the player would be slower than looking it up every time, and that's just not, that's crazy talk. And this is commented out, so that can't possibly be a difference, and that takes a good place in the player as well. And this is what's crazy about this. We're getting timeouts even though now with the new code we're doing less. It's like we tripped up some random shit in the compiler somehow. But this one's doing well. This was the good too. So very carefully. Let's look at this very carefully again. It's just like unbelievable. We reduced the entities by one but... Hey, there's no way that's a possibility. Because it's causing timeouts. And the most significant change we did is right here. The good file allows us to bomb more often. Wonderful. And the bad one only allows us to bomb in one place. And But if timeout is the option, I can't possibly see how... Wait, that makes no sense. Well, let's do it anyways. And we waited a long time for that one to jump up, so maybe we're still doing okay. Um, well, let's just keep submitting here. Get com 
commit, maybe rank three. I disintegrated. Let's find out how I disintegrated. How on earth did I disintegrate? What the hell? Was I just sitting there? If we likely die, then skip it. We could probably get rid of this because we first thing iter best turn is check that as well. But I don't understand why. It can be frustrating doing this sometimes. Debugging is a real problem. the right view of the board. They're both valued the same. But as I get to the end, they should both be valued differently. It's not even considering them. What's going on? What's going on? Something broke. Is likely to die should be returning tr false there. But why am I getting stuck there? Ah, I wish there was a way to test this locally. Easier. Let's just ignore that one. I don't know. I have no idea why that one could be failing there. Well, 
What the hell? What the hell is going on? Why are we just dying? Why on earth do we sit there like morons? We don't consider any more possibilities. Right there we do. And they're both worth 30. And once we get down here, though, we stop considering them for some reason. Why do we stop considering them at all? Um, likely die. I don't know what's happening here. I can't imagine we changed our code that did that. But something definitely subtle changed that just told us, just making us fail. It doesn't consider anything anymore. What the hell is going on? figure out why this is returning that something something went wrong in the code and I don't understand why Go up to here. What what do we do? Likely die. The move right before. This is like the version before. How are we likely to die in that position? What the hell went wrong with likely die? We haven't changed likely die. We don't have, we just didn't change that at all.
hell is going on? I'm just like flailing here. I just have no clue what the hell is going on now. Like something fundamental changed and we didn't actually change anything that much. <laughs> just what the fuck is going on I just don't understand what's going on at all we we'll put that back like the code we had submitted is a code we copied off, and it's doing quite well. And it just doesn't have changes that would account for what's happening to it. Unless it's seriously this stuff here. If we relook up the player every time instead, but I just it's just like what the hell? How would that possibly do it? Could it do it? Have we made some sort of fundamental error there? <sighs> we have. We have made a fundamental error there. That is what's screwing it up. Because we take a copy of the position. We're not modifying the actual player. We're, we're, we're taking a copy of it. So I can't, I can't believe that's actually... That thing I thought that wasn't screwing it up is what's screwing it up. And this is one of the issues we have with the... Uh, Rust is we don't know how to do this correctly. We can't pass a mutable one around because then we can't modify the state. So we're going to have an issue with that one later, but let's just put it back for now. do it right because we have to actually get the new player each time and this is going to be slow but looking for those places I don't remember where I passed it my best turn we're not going to pass it along. Um, so that was actually, that was a, a bad move. Because the player changes each time we took a copy of it. And it's not possible to take a reference to it, which is unfortunate. We can at least store the index to them, but then Actually, no, because the state we might actually modify 
the box as well. We were best off just storing it in a separate position in there. And it's one of those things in Rust we still haven't figured out yet how you can actually keep references to stuff you want to modify. It's really difficult. All right, this looks more like the code we want. But we don't need this likely die here because we're already calling it inside iter best turn and that's a bit slower so we can do that. And we're actually going to do this. We're going to we're going to cut down that a little bit. We can add that back in now to see if we actually get somewhere with that. Our leaderboards were probably probably done calculating by now. Yeah, we're going up, but we're done calculating, so let's submit this one. That looks more like we want more wins and this one lot. Ah, no losses. Come on, give me a break. It's still getting better though. All right, where are we? There you go, that was a big jump, so we're probably okay there. We just don't get enough boxes here. Let's undo what we did for a second there. So this is probably git commit. More likely three rank. What if we only consider dropping bombs in one target location? That would be an option. And so we never actually... I'm uncertain now. I'm really uncertain about this. I got so sidetracked hunting that thing down. That was clearly the version that got us really high up there. That was just with that change. So, Let's try that. Let's just do this. Let's say
Let's just simplify this out. If bomb, let's just simplify this out first. Do this. Okay, I'm gonna say this. If there's bomb and the player has no bombs, we continue. Okay, or if bomb and the player dot position does not equal next position, continue. I mean, strategy, good place. I don't know if I have a partially qual. Ah, shit. Come on, git. I didn't want to do that. How do I uncommit? Bizarre has an uncommit. Git K. means we only drop a bomb now when we're in the target location. And remember, how well did we do before? It didn't keep the options we did. It did definitely not reload the stuff. And so we get stuck here because we're not in the target location. That's not going to help because hmm. we're trying to go to a location we can't get to, it looks like. Which makes no sense. Go back to the beginning of that. What was happening there? Right there, what was I doing? Best, 6, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. Yeah. And because we're using Manhattan distance, we're getting stuck at the wrong location there as well. Um. So we'd have to consider the A-star distance there as well. Um, I think I'm too tired to keep working on this today, though. I can't do any more. I can't think about it. We need the A-star there as well, the mapping to get to the closer distance. And if I calculate that every time. Actually, wait. Can we calculate it once? We don't do it every turn. We just do it once. So maybe we're okay. Maybe I can do it quickly. We have the distance to walk distance. Where am I doing that one? in state and we want the strategy at good place dot unwrap. This is the closest one here. The 
the score is the best score. And then there's a good place. Yeah, there might not be a good place. Um, Let's just force it. Stretch to a good place, but it is none. And for simplicity right now, we'll just say strategy.goodplace equals sum i point to x at 0, 0. We'll just go somewhere there. We'll just run away. Then I don't have to worry about it. Then I don't have to worry about good place down here. And where's the best bit we have? Best score, best score, let's commit. Best distance equals zero. Best distance equals walk distance. Dot get. And where are we going to? Next position. So it has the same score and the best distance is greater than the new distance. Walk distance dot get next position. Okay. That should have us walking around the right location now. And we actually win now. So we walk clearer now. That's the better idea. That's we definitely walk clearer. That was some pretty dangerous moves there. Should we try submitting this one? Let's submit this one. <laughs> See what happens. Um, so we get rid of the Ma the Manhattan distance should have always been a clear sign that something's wrong, and we're gonna have to keep cleaning up on that. But I can't believe we couldn't make it from this. We were so close, and. Let's figure out this one. We still have the one where we get stuck in the corner. Shit. Right, we still have this one horrible problem. And I don't remember if we had that one before. But it's going to happen often because this setup is extremely common. And the correct way to fix it is just search a bit further in depth, which we just don't do. How can we make a quick fix to get rid of that one? Right, because that one right there is it's very clearly wherever so where you are, right? You write the start. The best position is zero comma zero. And it only ever considers putting a bomb at the first place. Because it can't consider putting a bomb there because it would be unsafe. 
but it doesn't consider walking away because <laughs> it doesn't like it. How can I fix that? And again, the search depth here is that if I could do another search depth and I could add the bombs, it would know just put a bomb here. Putting a bomb there would be safe. And But doing absolutely nothing is just not, not helpful. What we can do, though, is we can prefer that he moves as not to post as not moving. That would be a very rough sort of fix, and we get the score, get score. Duplicate state, good place. Who calls get score? We could simply just do a really rough hit for next position does not equal player dot position. Always prefer moving. You just do a simple adjustment for preferring moving. Cannot assign twice to immutable variable. Fine, that's fine, it's fine. Well, this should have made a move. Oh no, because we're closer to the target position. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to do a plus two here. To get him to move somewhere. Now, what's the problem? Two? How can it be two? It's weird. can't be because one of these offsets is a zero. going on? So there's something wrong with the scoring. There's something wrong with that plus there. I'm feeling it's just partially quality somehow. Does not equal player dot position at x or next position dot y does not equal player dot position dot y. Something weird there.
this is just this is driving me crazy. What? Why on earth is this? Uh, Oh, because I'm an idiot. No! Offset is not zero, or I don't know why it's not working. It's one of them standing still. Oh, that's right, because it's adding up the best possible score there. So we're not supposed to do it at this level. So don't do it at this level. That's bad. This level's bad. We have to do it at the top level. Where did you get my best move? Sorry, I said I'm getting tired. I am getting tired. It's making it hard to think of what I'm doing. We can adjust it here. We can say if offset that x not equal zero or offset that y is not equal zero. Score plus equals one. Just choose that crap. And Ah uh, yeah, whatever, just do this. Let mut score equal score. No, I didn't. Or did I? Maybe. Oh, cries, I can do that? Wonderful. And hi, thanks. <laughs> yes, um, Alright, so I, I become a little bit hectic here because I always prefer moving, but that's fine. I think that'll be fine. Because if we're in a dangerous position, it's going to get a really big negative score. And that gives us a substantial improvement to that. And... And what's really distracting these games, I always think my guys pause, but it's actually when the bombs go off, the animation of the game pauses, so it's not a flowing animation. It it actually stops whenever there's a bomb, so, you, so you, it, your guys aren't actually pausing. It's just it's a visual thing in the game. So let's, let's submit this, see if this actually fixes those few games to prefer moving over not doing anything. Yeah, cries. It is really annoying. Yeah, because you're thinking, why the hell is my guy not doing anything? Why is he just standing there? But it's really just that animation, and you really only realize now. I really look that there's something wacky about it. So, all right, let's let play a bit. And so, cries says we can do this. Let Mut score. And. Did we actually jump that fast in the rank this time? We did. 
we actually jumped really high up, but it doesn't mean anything. We got a few, few easy matches. Oh yeah, that's going to get worse when there's even more explosions, because it's going to take long. Every explosion is going to be like, Bleh. But Kraz, I don't know if you notice, I'm, I have the chain reactions now. I have complete chain reaction support. I guess I got that yesterday, but I've clarified it today with the walking. I'm really good with chain reactions now. And I can actually drop multiple bombs now because it appears one bomb's not enough. One bomb does not appear enough. Simply dropping multiple bombs seems to get us higher up. And I'm just trying to wait to see what happens here. We're doing quite good. Come on, I want to make it this time. I want to end the night on a good note. <laughs> just get to gold. Then we have to go catch with cries afterwards. As I mean, this is a good sign that we jumped up really fast, so... Nobody else is computing. And there's a bunch of red arrows around us, which is really positive. Oh yeah, I think we should be fine now. We took a big jump. All these reds are good. We're going to lose a few, of course, still. No! We pushed him up. Stupid me. Stupid me. I can't blame anybody else for pushing him up. No! No! <laughs> I made me so close again. Come on. Ah. <sighs> The overall trend is upwards, and that's actually a good thing if we had a lot of submission time, which we have a lot left, because it means if I slowly increase numbers, it's okay if the average is trending that way. Um, the fact I'm pushing up the boss per man is not so good. In a live competition, it might be enough to sneak by, because if other people keep submitting, it also helps you push up your score, and you have other people who could be bringing the boss per man down. What's my next increment? Just if it goes up to 24 or 23 point, just a higher number would be perfect the next one. And then we know the trend is in that direction. Ugh. <laughs> um, I can commit this though. Oops. Definitely two to three. <laughs> Because we don't, I mean, the, the easiest fix would be, of course, to go one more depth down the strategy, but we have a timeout. We're going to have to massively fix what we do to do that there, how we fix that. We now calculate that once per turn. Oops, I'm another one. And so we're stuck in the exact same damn place. We're just not quite good enough to get... So let's play Boss Burman because he's the biggest problem. We're pushing him up a lot. Although we jumped to 23.5, which is the highest we've been. 23, yeah. So it all depends on this little timer here, 26%. Whether we make it up or not. With not some, with <laughs> I'd say not so many other people comp competing. With nobody else competing, there's nobody else to drive it up. That's so it's 100% us. We can't have blame anybody here for knocking the boss around. And let's see what happens with that. Let's take off these people. Let's play the boss and see what our win rate is against him, and see potentially why. If we can improve it, just tweak it, just to beat him somehow, that would be enough to get to go old. Let's see why we lose against him. We don't die, we just don't... We don't have enough points.
And we're not always placing the bomb in the right place. And that was the attempt to fix I tried to make before is that let's not place the bomb anywhere but the place we've identified as the best place. It loses a lot of optimistic scoring, but if we only have one bomb, or maybe we could do that. If we only have one bomb, then don't do any opportunistic placing. We're up to 24, so our trend is definitely higher, but will we catch him or will we push him up too high? So what I mean is that the potential we have here is we can say, if we have a bomb and we're not at the correct location and player dot player bombs equals one and we have only one left, we don't bomb. We just don't drop a bomb unless we're at the right location or we have extra bombs to drop. And that might get us a little bit better bomb placement. But again, we're doing more and more heuristics now and less and less actually searching of the target space. But I want to see if we just make the one position. So that was a good bomb drop right there. We did a very good bomb drop now. Of course, now we now you can see now the issue is we're waiting way too long, and that was a terrible bomb drop. But now we have multiple bombs, so it's okay. But we waited too long to get those initial ones, which is also an issue. So we also have to consider this here. Let me put the end up here. I prefer it up there. And the walk distance that gets next position, I don't know, it was less than two. Maybe probably less than three. We can, we can tweak that number a bit. So we don't wait too long. We still take the opportunity if it's a good place to go. It's not helping though, but at least we place that bomb. That's what I mean. We, we place the first one, then we'll place the second one. And that one's a better position. That's what we were hoping for. And that one was just placed there just because and that one was placed poorly. That one wasn't placed poorly. That one was placed okay. He's just getting more bombs than us. Try another one. Let's let's not just get focused on the one where he happened to win. There might just be something particular about that layout. But we were winning against him before, and I don't remember what we changed. Oh, and that's one of the reasons we're gonna screw that up, so we can't do that. Because there's also the best position there. Shit. Yeah, and that screws up that one again as well. So we can't actually do that because our strategy can't deal with that one then. Ah, uh, damn it. So here we did an absolute tie. Why the hell did I drop a bomb there? That was weird. I 
I know why. Because if you have two evaluations, one with the bomb and one without, the bomb one comes first. I know, but it comes true. The one without the bomb should come first. So let's go back and see what happened there. I mean, right there, right there. What on earth was I thinking? So I'm right here, and the bomb is 9, 11, 8, 10. Why are these bombs worth more? Why the hell would be placing a bomb worth more points than not placing a bomb? That's something crazy with my scoring. And I get stuck at position number 2. I am going up, but it's not going to be enough to get by, I think. So I might actually have to figure out why... There's something wrong with the bombs. <laughs> um, get score. We're going to get rid of this criteria. Why is the score of dropping a bomb worth more? Boxes within bomb range. This is going to print out too much junk, I think. Let box equal boxes within bomb range. It's coming out with one or something. Maybe my range was off by Oh, I bet it's detecting that range there. That's potentially the problem. I have a range error on this. I'm counting too many boxes. And so it thinks dropping it there is worth something even though it's not. Because we've seen that before. It looks like we're dropping it in the wrong place sometimes. Right there. Let's go back that up. Right here. There should be no ones in that list. It's good. So it's the next list, I mean. Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of ones in the list. No. Wait, huh? Oh, yeah, this is the ones for the second one. All right, so we actually have a range there, error. My current range is... Still three. But that's one, two, three. So the boxes within a range has an error in it. What did I just change? I just get rid of this print line. Boxes within range. What do I call it? I call it boxes of player range. So I'm giving it a value of three. Okay, value of three. And I was there. And it should have been one, two. It does one to range, which is fine. And the offset is. That should have been OK, though. I think that's I think we shouldn't have the range minus one. I don't want 
want to sit at rank two. <laughs> Now we actually won. I have something wrong with the range though. We're going to have to write test cases for that. And I'm not going to jinx it until we're actually finished the battles right here. Because we're so super close. Not close enough, though. I don't think we'll make it. No. And we just pushed him up a whole bunch. And this is really awful. Because when we started the night, he was down at 24. And we have just kept pushing up higher and higher and higher. Which makes it harder for us to get by. Let's see if, again if we can beat him one again. If we can, As long as we can keep beating him... Then we can resubmit. Otherwise, we just can push him higher. There's absolutely nobody else to bring him back down. And we're doing terrible bomb placement. But we absolutely... Oh man, because we have that one stupid condition. We really want to enable that one condition still. We want to enable this thing. But... But then we have that problem, we get stuck in the corner. So we have those two things combining with it. Let's see if I do it again. Let's just replay a few battles against him and see what happens. Oh, we're still losing to him. That sucks. He's like the only guy we're going to be losing against right now. It's because I'm not placing box bombs very well. Sometimes. Right, there was another clear situation where I need that condition, but I'm going to get stuck in the corner then. We don't know how many bombs we can have max. It's not listed in the in the inputs. That would actually help. I could actually test it then. It's another condition. I could track it though. You know, I'm gonna submit this nonetheless and see what happens. Um, like I said I'm, I'm tired. I can't think of the solution because I am at two, and I know what the problem is, and I don't see an easy way to fix it. we're just not placing bombs at an optimal location like right there you see we place it in a shit location instead of there and and that's what that other condition is that's the condition I have that very clearly condition said well look if the better position is like right beside you go do that instead but we had the problem that you can get trapped in the corner then we can get stuck in a loop and never actually make it anywhere and I don't know how to fix that condition. I could just hard code it and say, look, if you're in the corner, <laughs> just don't do it. But that'll just get us stuck somewhere else. Or we could check the last position. If we do nothing twice in a row, we actually have the strategy it can actually hold over now to wherever our last position was. I don't know, let's just leave the submission here. And if I do play tomorrow, we might as well just do the competition. Um, cheer for me if you want me to do the competition. Oh, just any indication you do that, because otherwise I might just do the leaf stream and not do 
coding game. I'm not sure. I just have to do the new graphic for it. Let's let this run and see what happens. And so we have no information about the coding competition yet, as usual. I signed up, but so it's Code Royale. That's all I have in 16 hours. So that's still quite late. It had to start. And we really know nothing about it, right? This is the way it typically is. We know nothing about it. And we can at least play the first few rounds, maybe. Get the thing working, just as an example. But it's like a lot of work to set these things up. And I'm, I'm realizing it now, as we jump between all of these, it's an absolute ton of work to actually get these things working. And also be talking online at the same time. And whatever we submitted last is not so good, so... We'll see. I'll see you tomorrow. But I think I, I think that's it for today. Um, we'll let this go wherever it is, and I don't know where I'll be. If I come on tomorrow, it'll be at the time of the competition. So whenever this starts, probably in the evening, earlier evening, nine ten. If I come on, but I can't guarantee I come on um, tomorrow morning. I want to do a leash stream, but unless I can fix my LVM error, I may not, because I may want to focus on that instead, because it's getting really annoying. But on Saturday, I'll definitely have a leaf stream. We'll be working on the Wormies game again. Saturday evening, definitely some sort of evening rust stream. And on Sunday again. And next week, it's going to be a bit random because I'm not around. All right, so I thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again later.